another uh, video in the series flow 101 um, today's topic is going to be auto launched flow okay so let's get started um, so we are on the setup menu type flow and we'll be here select new flow and before I actually get started um, this video is going to be more about explaining when to use auto launched flow and what are the different types of auto launched flow and we're also going to touch into some elements that you can use um, but if you are looking for more specific use cases and how to actually build an auto launch flow there are other videos that I, I will link you to um, so you can practice that but this is a more foundational video um, okay so select auto launched here create um, so when you are in the can uh, flow builder um, click start double click that and here you will see three different options um, the first option is the one that's more predominantly used in um, a lot of cases that I've seen um, this is like the no flow trigger which means this can be launched from a process uh, mostly I have seen it being launched from a process but you can also use it for from to launch from um, a next best action or a Einstein bots apex classes and etc so that's what it tells you right here um, so this is mostly used. so when do you, when do you use it to launch from a process if you have never used this um, so an Id ideal use case would be for example process can do a lot but they cannot do certain things like you cannot delete a record from using a process builder but you can do that using a flow so the idea here is creating a process which fires and all those conditions that you want your process to fire on will be defined in the process and then you will pass certain parameters from the process into the flow and the flow can take care of some super advanced actions that you cannot do using process like you cannot you can do a lot of um, children records update from the process itself but when you want to do more um, advanced things like for example um, if you have an opportunity um, and you want to get all the related records from opportunity into a new object um, loop through them and create a separate records on a different object this kind of advanced scenarios cannot be done using using just process so in that case is you will create a flow and then you launch the process you launch the flow using the process and I do have an example do have an example video to show exactly that which is why I'm not gonna actually create that whole flow here but just know that this is an option to use a combination of process and flow um, so what about these two options so new or updated records this is more um, this is like this came last I think two releases ago and what it lets you do is you don't even need a process to launch a flow for these situations um, because if you have worked in Salesforce platform for a little bit you know that the process builders sometimes run into a lot of DML issues you will get 150 DML error limit error um, sometimes you'll get CPU time limit errors and uh, <clears throat> different types of errors especially when you're dealing with a very complicated org so what when do you use the second option is let's say you want to update certain records on the same record that you are creating now um, what's the use case for that so let's say um, on the creation of a case um, if the contact country is um, US or India or Nepal or whatever country it is um, you want to update some other field on the same case record based on some situations some conditions you can do all that using process but why would you want to use flow is because what process does is it will create the record first and then it will capture those conditions and then it will go back and update the same record with that conditions that you um, specified and traditionally this is what we have been doing even when you use workflow field updates or you use uh, process it will make uh, two updates into the platform and uh, if you're a developer we know that you can do that using a trigger without consuming that extra update statement so it's not a big deal if it's just one record and it's a simple org but when you have a lot of records and when you are um, doing mass updates that quickly becomes a big deal so 
to prevent that this is a really um, sleek version of flow where you can just update the same record without even using any um, update or insert statement and uh, I'm gonna quickly show you that actually so new update records select that and it will tell you a record is created or record is updated or both so you know let's just select both and then this is where you're gonna say oh I only wanted to fire when a case is created and watch when I select this I'm gonna see very fewer options here so hit done and now I have only four elements so and you don't see any update or create anything like that here because you don't need that so it's gonna say when a case is created or updated and let's say my you can use a decision element say if a country is this do that but for the sake of simplicity let's just say all I want to do is update subject so here you can see um, this is something new you will only notice in this kind of flow is record case dot if I say record dot that means case dot subject equals um, I can just define a string test auto launched and that's it and I can just assign that or maybe I want to say decision if the if case origin is web or something um, web and here again I'm gonna have to use record dot origin equals web and that's all um, you has that um, if the case origin is web then update the subject to web and did that take it cool um, and there's a little glitch where you once you type it here just click outside of the box so that it actually remembers that value and that's it so we only need to use assignment um, assignment uh, as opposed to my previous video where I was using a create and update um, elements here you don't need to use that because it's gonna automatically update that in one single statement so I'm just going to save that and instead of now using workflow or process to do that I highly recommend going back if you have any process or um, workflows which does exactly this then just go ahead and use a flow for that because it's going to save um, save a DML statement for you um, so let's activate that and let's quickly test it out so I'm just gonna I'm on a case and flow should fire on an update or a create so I'm gonna just change the origin to web and that should um, auto update the subject to web and there you go so it quickly updated it to web okay so that's the that's the second type of the flow that we saw and so we have one more type which is schedule jobs flow runs for a batch of records and I do also have a video on this um, so what it does is it's just exactly what it sounds like it's a schedule jobs so let's say you have um, scenario where anything any cases that's in progress status for more than a few days you want to send an email to those case owners to close that case um, and that can be a schedule jobs for every day so you can have a schedule job for saying query all the cases in the status of in progress and then send an email out to those people the case owners for that case to close the case and that's like a very standard use case but traditionally you can only do that using apex job so you'd have to write an apex class a bad job and a schedule job to then schedule that um, for whatever time you want to do it um, you can say frequency um, you can define frequency once daily weekly and start date start time and basically you will just select and this is what the object will be looking at this object that you choose here and you can also say conditions or all records so if I say conditions are met I can say status um, equal to maybe escalated so anything that's escalated um, you can use 
this. Sorry, that's my Google telling me, suggesting me. Um, 12 a.m. frequency. I can say daily. I'm not going to do daily um, and hit done. So that is right there. And all you need to do after that is create and use an action. So action is very interesting because you can use all the different types of actions that are available here. But if you want to be specific, you can say email alert and any email alert. Currently, I don't have any, but if I did, I would see it here. So email alert and then you can send email. And I have a video on that I can link you to. So that's a third way to use auto launched flow. Super simple. And as an admin, this will be really beneficial. And there are some limitations on, um, on the schedule jobs. Um, I think the limitations are how many rows of records you can achieve. But um, for a simple org, this should still work. Um, so okay, that's those are the three types of auto launch flow. Um, I know I went over the basics of it um, with the hope that you can then find the other videos that I have um, helpful and actually understand what are the different types of flows and where to use them. Um, and all these different elements are also based on what type you choose, as we have seen. Um, let me know what other questions you have in those elements. Um, and this is just going to come with practice. The more you practice flows uh, and use these different elements, um, the better you're going to be um, as, as with everything else. So um, I hope you find this helpful. Please stay safe out there. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you so much.